So you've been speaking today at this right of return conference, and you brought up an idea I haven't heard before, but a, a birthright Palestine project or idea. Could you talk about that? Uh, yes, well, actually, it's not a new proposal because there have been several efforts. Uh, there has been an effort called uh, Birthright Unplugged, which is uh, which has been a response to Birthright Israel. That uh, program has been operating for a number of years, uh, and it's basically to show the uh, Palestinian birthright in the uh, territory. Uh, and there have been other uh, proposals for similar kinds of projects to allow uh, some groups of Palestinians, uh, people of Palestinian origin, to be able to go back to their um, places of origin in Palestine. Uh, but it has not been any kind of an organized, large organized effort. Uh, so my response has been to the deconstruction of birthright Israel looking also at what does that mean for a new effort uh, for birthright Palestine and tying that into the, the uh, questions of Palestinian nationality and uh, Palestinian statehood, which of course are much more ripe now since the General Assembly resolution upgrading Palestine's uh, status at the UN. Now, has there, there has been a few times when some Palestinian kids, I guess, are allowed to go to the ocean and so on, but not much more. No, that's right. Uh, and in fact, those efforts, uh, which went on uh, a very sporadic basis, some of them were organized by some of the uh, activist communities in the West Bank, for example, to be able to take their, uh, to the youth, to take the youth back to their uh, villages. Uh, there, there were uh, periodic efforts over the years to do that, but that has all stopped since the construction of the wall. Uh, that's no longer possible uh, to be done. In fact, I think the last one uh, that took place was organized by a West Bank um, uh, non-governmental organization called Badil, and it was uh, way back in uh, 2000 and maybe two. Are you allowed inside Israel? I am, uh, although the last time I went, uh, which was uh, three summers ago, I was told that it was the last time I was going to be allowed entry. So I'm going to try, I'm trying to go again this summer, uh, so we'll see how that goes. My last question, you talked about a new kind of nationality. Uh, what would that be? So the new nationality that I propose would be one that's uh, solidly based on international law, which would grant nationality and citizenship to all Jews uh, who are residing in Israel, all Jews who are born in Israel. Uh, these are fully consistent with international law concepts on uh, nationality. Uh, the descendants of Jews who have uh, national rights in Israel, uh, but also to all Palestinians who uh, trace their nationality back to the 1924-1925 nationality legislation that was passed uh, during the mandate period. And that would all be one giant nationality. Yes, absolutely. But of course, people would be free to exercise it as they chose. They could come, they could stay, they could come for visits, they could uh, do whatever. But presumably, um, some would choose not to exercise that uh, right of, of citizenship. Um, some would want, uh, of course, the restitution of property is a separate question that has a whole other legal basis. Uh, but in terms of nationality law, it would uh, basically resolve the issue of discriminatory treatment of one people residing in that territory or with rights to that territory over another. Thank you very much. My pleasure.